Good morning. Uh, welcome to the presentation. Uh, it's entitled Rating Scale Assessment of Child Psychopathology. And my name is Randy Camphouse. Uh, I'm a professor and dean of the College of Education at the University of Oregon. I'm also co-author of the Behavior Assessment System for Children, third edition. Validity scales are often false positive indicators of rater validity. So we have several validity scales, and this we also thought was an important breakthrough in rating scale assessment. Uh, it was common in personality assessment for adults, but the, um, um, the availability of validity indexes such as lie or false positive or F or false negative or consistency indexes or patterning indexes uh, they simply were not used on uh, child rating scale measures. So we have numerous validity scales. I want to be clear, however, that our validity scales do not have as high of reliability as our clinical scales and our adaptive scales. What that means is that they're less trustworthy, particularly the F scale or the fake bad index as we call it, because the F scale um, includes symptoms from a variety of clinical scales on the BASC that may not be correlated with one another. However, if you have a child referred to you or an adolescent referred to you and you, are, uh, you receive uh, high scores on a variety of scales, your F scale will also be high. In that case, an elevated F scale that says be cautious about interpreting this particular um, clinical scale, may be a false positive because the child has complex, severe, and diverse problems. And what the F scale is really showing that this poor child or adolescent has very difficult problems that are going to require very aggressive treatments. Um, and in fact, the prognosis may not be very favorable. So um, validity indexes overall are useful. Uh, they're not as reliable as our clinical and adaptive scales. And what that means is that I would suggest that you not consider a teacher rating, a parent rating, or a self-report invalid just because you have one elevated validity index. If you have two elevated validity indexes, there may be a problem with the truthfulness of the rating or the validity of the rating. If you have three or more elevated validity indexes, then that rating by that teacher, that father, uh, that adolescent may in fact uh, not be very useful. It may be invalid. So that is the, um, that is the caution I want to give you uh, about the validity indexes.